Hi and welcome to another video of Made by Seam. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful mandala. It is the mandala, uh, Seam Mandala number 8. Uh, cozy Moments it's called. Um, I do have a, a few other videos with mandalas. So it will be in a playlist um, for the mandalas and it will be in the playlist um, with all my English videos. And in the playlist for um, the cozy moments. It turned out beautiful, at least in my opinion. Um, now you can use any kind of yarn that you like, or I would like to say any color of yarn that you would like. I would like to suggest a sports weight. But I'm gonna tell all about the yarn in the next clip. For now, Please enjoy watching the video. Bye. For this tutorial, um, I'm going to tell you what you will need to make this one. Well, um, first of all, you need, you need two of these balls of yarn, the Stanley Opal, and I'm going to try to find the substitute yarn for this um, so you know where to find it. Or just use a sport, I think it's a sports weight yarn, you can use that as well. This one has 50 grams and 150 meters per ball of yarn. This one has a lovely glitz to it. It is 85% cotton and 15% lurex. Um, now you need two of these ball of yarns. Then um, a pair of scissors a crochet hook 2.5 millimeter i hope you can see it a darning needle and a handful of stitch markers and a 50 centimeters 50 50 centimeters metal ring now I already crocheted my placemat, but I'm going to tell you all about it in the next clip. Well, um, like I said before, this pattern is based on the placemat that I made earlier. Um, so you need to go back to the video of the placemat. Um, I'm going to try to post a, a link right there so you can um, go to that link. And after you went to that link, go to um, the pattern and crochet rounds one until round uh, 20. After you did your round 20, come back and I'll show you guys how to start off round 21. Okay, um, I'm going to try to post a timestamp. Uh, for that video down below into the description box, but as it is another video, I'm not sure if that is possible so I'm going to try to sort that out if the if that is not possible um, then I'm just going to put the um, time into the description box so you can scroll forward if you like you can always watch the whole video if you prefer to do that but I'm just I just like to give you multiple options now um, in the video of the placemat you will see me crochet with a three and a half millimeter crochet hook I wanted to crochet a bigger um, placemat, so I decided that I wanted to go for a three and a half millimeter crochet hook. Now, so you will see me crocheting with that. Now, when you want to make your uh, sea mandala, um, you, if you use a three and a half millimeter crochet hook, it'll be too big. It'll be too big for your 50 centimeter metal ring. So you definitely need a two and a half millimeter crochet hook like I told you guys in the previous clip. So don't get confused, for the mandala you will need a two and a half millimeter crochet hook. And if you do have a super tight tension, I would like to suggest to go for a three millimeter crochet hook. Okay, um, that's it. Go to that other video. Um, which the link can be found right there or at the very end of this video and um, crochet rounds one until round 20. As soon as you're ready to go for round number 21, please come back and I'll show you how to crochet that. 
Right, after you um, did your round number 20, this is round number 21. So welcome back. Um, I'm going to slip stitch in the first three uh, chain stitches of the V-stitch. So insert your hook in the first one, slip stitch in the second one, and into the third, third one. There you go. Um, as you can see, you just ended up in the middle of the V-stitch, and this is what we want. Now, um, crochet uh, chain of three, there you go, and this counts as your very first double crochet. Um, for this V-stitch, we're going to crochet half a shell, um, and at the very end of the round, we're going to finish off this shell. Now. So the chain three is a double crochet. We need um, two more double crochets into the V-stitch. One, two. That means counting the chain three as well, we have three double crochets. Now one front post double crochet around the uh, leg or the last double crochet of the V-stitch. Now the repetition of this round starts. So front post double crochet, three double crochet into the V-stitch, one, two, three, chain one, three double crochets, one, two, three and one front post double crochet around the last leg of your or the last double crochet of your v-stitch and this is what we're going to repeat for the whole round let me do that again front post double crochet three doubles one Two, three, chain one, three double crochets, one, two, three, and a front post double crochet. There you go. Okay, so this is what we do all the way around and I'll meet you guys um, here as we did the last one and uh, before we are ready to um, go finish off the very first shell stitch at the beginning of the round. Okay, see you guys there. Enjoy! Almost um, ready with a round number 21. Now, to finish off this round, we need to work into this V-stitch right there. So, a front post a double crochet. Three double crochets into the V-stitch. Two and three. And instead of chaining one and closing the round off with a slip stitch, I'm going to crochet a single crochet into the third of the chain three at the beginning of the round. One, two, three. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, and pull through two, which gives us a little bit of a space right there. Now, round number 22. In this round, we're going to make V-stitches. I, I call them V-stitches. I'm not sure if they're called V-stitches, but it is sort of a V, but now it will be a V-stitch with five chains. So, I'm starting this round off by chain eight. One, two, and three for our very first double crochet. Four, five, six, seven, and eight for our five chain 
uh, five chain space or the V stitch with five chains. Yarn over and work a double crochet into the same space right there. There you go. Um, then you go to your next chain space and the chain space is in your uh, shell right there, your 3D shell. So yarn over, double crochet into the chain one space, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and another double crochet into the same space. There you go. Let's do that one more time. Go to the chain one space, right there, double crochet, chain five, and double crochet into the same chain space. And this, that's basically it. This is what you do all the way around. As soon as you're um, about to close off the round, I'll be back to show you what to do next. Enjoy. Okay, I'm at the very end of round number 22. Closing off the round by slip stitching into the third of the chain three at the beginning of the round. Um, one, two, yeah, three. And then slip stitching into the first, the second, and the third chain. There you go. So you will end up in the middle or in the center stitch of the V-stitch. Take your hook out and place a stitch marker in that loop of the stitch so you won't frog your work when you try to get your work into your 50 centimeter ring. Now, this is going to look like a challenge. I'm going to zoom out a bit. Um, it's going to look like a challenge, um, but it should fit. It, sh it should, you should be able to fit this into this ring. On um, all the sides I have five centimeters left. Five centimeters is about I think two inches. It's a little less than two inches. That's what we should have left on both sides of the um, mandala. Now get a stitch marker Okay guys, I'm going to be honest with you, um, the struggle is real. I think this is about take 10 or so, um, and um, putting it into the ring the way I like it. Um, I think my standards are too high or um, I just want it to be perfect and I will have to let that go that it cannot be as perfect as I want it to be. Um, so, change of plans, you see some of these loops popping up because um, it was all in the ring and it took me a couple of days to sort it out in my head when I wanted to. So these loops are a little stretched out, but that's no problem at all because that will be okay later on. For now, I decided that I wanted to um, put the first one, this is the one where the stitch marker is, that one needs to go in the ring. Then I'm going to skip one and the next one needs to go in the ring. So get your stitch marker, place it in the next one and put it around the ring. Skipping the next loop and the next one needs to go around the ring. This is how I'm going to do it right now. now just um, placing the um, stitch markers so a loop around the hook skip one the next loop around the hook skipping oh you can't see it skipping this one connecting this one again with the loop and this is what I'm going to do all the way around and as soon as it is in the ring hopefully oh that's not okay. I should skip that one. Um, hopefully it is okay the way I like it. And then um, I'm going to show you how it, we're going to 
uh, put it in the ring. Okay. See you later. <laughs> well, I managed to get it all in the ring. As you can see. Okay, um, it is too big to um, sit down behind my desk, but I like it to uh, show you it as good as I can. Um, so therefore I'm standing behind my desk. Um, I just can't um, lay it down like that because I cannot reach it, so I have to flip it a little like that and then I'm then I'm able to um, show you guys I hope you can see it very well so this one was connected to the ring as well be sure that you have your working strand of yarn over your ring then take the stitch marker out there you go chain one Insert your hook in the space here, so in the chain space. Grab your yarn there and pull it through the space. Then pull it up and pull everything tight with this strand of yarn that you have in your hand. Then yarn over and pull through two. Then it should be connected to your ring. Then um, I'm still trying that out. I think I'm going to crochet 15 single crochet over the ring. Um, so insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over and pull through two. And this is what you do. 15, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Um, like I said, I'm trying this out as we speak. If it is not enough, or maybe it should be less, um, I'm gonna write the number down right across the screen here if it is not 15. If it is not 15, I'm also gonna place um, a comment about it um, down below into the description box of this video, because I know there are a lot of people who are just listening to this video uh, who don't have the ability to um, look what is in the screen, but just listen to it. So for you guys, um, it is also in the um, description box of the video. Right. Then take your next stitch marker out. Insert your hook in the chain space. Grab your yarn, pull up the loops, pull this one tight, yarn over and pull through two. Be sure to um, do it like really tight so it, it is more beautiful in the ring. Then again, I already did one, 15 or the other number if I wrote another number down, uh, around the ring. And this is what you need to do for the complete round. Oh, my back is killing me. Um, <laughs> for the complete round. And as soon as I'm back uh, at the very beginning of the round, or at the end here, um, then I'll be back to show you guys how to close off the round. So, enjoy. Take your breaks. Don't do it in one go. Take your breaks. Um, your hands will love you for that. And, um, yeah. Hopefully uh, you can enjoy it for a bit. And I'll see you guys at the very end. Right. Um, I almost completed my mandala. 
all I need to do now, oh, and um, I stick with the 15 uh, single crochet around the ring. Um, if I had to do it again, I might have done 16, but that is, it just depends on the color that you use. Um, if you have, um, like I have a silver colored or metal colored metal ring, um, and you have a like a really dark color, um, it might be visible. Look. But with my color, it's doable. Okay, now um, I just cut my yarn, leave a little bit of a, a till end, and then just pull through without connecting or closing off with a slip stitch because we're going to sew in the yarn end. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath. <laughs> I just ran up the stairs. Okay, I already got um, my darning needle and what, I, what I'm going to do now, a slip stitch, but it, it's too hard. So I decided that I wanted to go for the single crochet here at the beginning of the round and just go underneath the two loops of the single crochet. There it is. Then pull it through and just um, go to the back side of your mandala. Then turn it around. Just keep pulling. Just leave your finger here. Then here is the stitch for around, around the ring and into your V stitch. Get it underneath there. But not all the way. Go through the loop, the loop that is here, and then pull it tight so it won't come loose. Just tie a knot there. That's basically basically what you do. Okay, and then you need to weave in the yarn tail um, at the back side of your mandala. I like to go through a couple of stitches of the double crochet right there. It, it, you can do it right here, but it's too hard because the stitches are really tight. So I'm just going down here, and then through here. Here, well, and then there are the double crochet stitches. What I usually do with my mandalas, I put a hanging loop um, on them as well. But I found out it's not really necessary. And if you do want to do that, I do have a video um, of See Mandala Unbelievable number 7, 7.1 and 7.2. In the video at 7.2 at the very end, or almost at the end of the video. May Let me see if I know where that is. I'm not sure where in the video that is. Um, towards the end of the video, I think. Um, I'm showing that in that video. So if you really want to have a loop hanging on at the outside, could have a look at that video. Basically, it's it, it's not really hard. It's just doing some. After you did some single crochet uh, around the ring, do some um, chain stitches and just come back with a slip stitch. Be sure to do that. You know, above um, the one that the the single crochet that you do in this. Um, a v-stitch so it won't look uh, off there you go I think that is enough so cutting my yarn tail off 
and then I am ready to show you guys what it looks like. Oh no, oh no, still need to do this one. Okay, weaving this one in at the end as well. Well, that's about it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Um, thank you so much for watching it. Uh, I do have a few other mandalas. Uh, there will be uh, another one in uh, the Cozy Moments um, uh, deco set as well. Um, maybe it's on online already. Then go and have a look at the playlist if it's there already. But I do have a few other mandalas as well. You can find them um, in my um, playlist C Mandala. I absolutely love it. Right, um, if you make yours, um, please show it to me. Um, you're more than welcome in our Facebook group made by Steam Headquarters. The main language in the group is Dutch, but Facebook does the translation for us, so um, which is awesome. Uh, so you, I know you can uh, follow along um, and, and see what, what all the others made. Um, I'm on Instagram as well. If you tag me on Instagram, I will um, uh, I will see it, and um, I will have a look at your beautiful items that you made. Um, and yeah, um, once again, uh, thank you so much. If you uh, like watching this video, then please do not forget to subscribe. If you're not a subscriber yet. Um, do not forget to hit that notification bell because uh, then you will get notified every time I will upload another video. I do upload videos in Dutch and in English, but it's always in the title whether it's a Dutch video or it's an English video. Um, I still have quite a few items on my list to um, do in English. Um, eventually they will be there but it takes a lot of time to do them because I will have to redo them all um, well the ones that were requested so it takes a lot of time to do them uh, so please have a little patience with me for now um, once again thank you so much for watching if you already made yours uh, and you want to make another video of mine uh, or you're going to watch another video of mine, uh, please do not forget to enjoy, stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye for now! Hi and welcome to another video of Made by Seam. Here is the C Mandala number eight um, in the series uh, Cozy Moments. I decided, oh, do that again, please. Thank you. Bye.